Alright guys, what's up? This is one excuse too many. I'm here on the Hillbilly Minecraft server, uh, getting ready to show off our uh, newly built warehouse, which just happens to be automated. Uh, it uses the uh, mine, Minecart Mania plugin uh, from Bucket. So uh, I'm going to show off how this works right here. These signs right, uh, um, collect the items in the different uh, storage chests. So um, I'm going to take this sand here. This automatically will sort your inventory of items that you do not want and distribute it here into the appropriate boxes. So uh, I'm going to grab that stone and the uh, sand. And I'm going to go over on this side over here and let's say grab some um let's grab let's grab a stack of sandstone okay we're going to head back over to the station now this uh you can launch a um well we only have two stations right now this is the main station right here um the other station is over at a building called the depot but you can launch a storage chest from either uh storage well storage minecart rather from either of the uh, locations and this will work okay so um... just have to take my word on that so uh... we're going to dispense a storage minecart should pop up here in a second All right, we're going to open that up and shoot it with an arrow alright we're going to put the items in there that we don't want in our inventory any longer the sand that we picked up the sandstone and the stone and then we're going to push to go All right, off it goes it's going to take a different route than we are. We're going to head back to the warehouse. That's the little arch I built up there. It's more of an A-shaped thing. All right. First, let's go see if that stack of uh, sandstone made it over here. Let's see. Where was that? Here we go. Sandstone. There it is. There's the stack of sandstone. And let's see if the stone and the sand made it over here. I'm guessing it probably did. Where is it? Sand, glass, and stone here. And there it is. There's the stone and the sand that we sent over this way. Now, I'm going to show you guys quickly how this works. Quickly as I can. As I said, it uses the plug-in Minecart Mania. So without that, uh, none of this would have been possible. It's a really cool plug-in. Uh, uh, you know, it makes it makes minecarts actually useful. Minecarts were fun before; now they're useful. All right, so that track is coming down. That when we launched it off, it came down from there. That's the station up there. It comes down this way, heads over this way. First thing it hits here are the furnaces, and the furnaces are interesting because they'll deposit coal in them uh, for fuel, and then this one will smelt ore automatically and then when um, when the next mine cart comes through it will take that ore and take it up to a uh, chest and deposit it for us so uh, that's pretty cool this one's for gold these are for food here this one's for pork chops and this one's for fish so it automatically cooks our food for us too the compression uh, box here uh, it simply just takes any of the ingots gold or iron ingots and uh, compresses them into blocks. That's just to save space up here. But a really neat feature. So the cart, the track's going to go all the way around, and as it passes each storage box, it's going to deposit uh, the different items in it. This one's for dirt, uh, and the, the, the signs are what tell it uh, what to deposit there. It goes all the way around that way, and all the way back around the other side here too. Uh, we're not going to follow the line, just take my word for it. And then it heads down this way. Heads back toward the um, station, because we do not want to lose uh, the, uh, the station. We do not want to lose the minecart. We want to store it. So that's what we'll do. Store it so that we can dispense it later. This gold block right here, uh, this is one of the blocks you use uh, when making uh, minecart systems with minecart mania. Gold block is a booster block, uh, so uh, it makes the cart go a lot faster. So it needed to get speed up, sped up here to get up these hills. 
Uh, this brick blocks right here is an intersection block. So when you put a brick block down, you can put a sign which is uh, down under it, uh, which tells the carts which what to do. And what this one's for is if uh, if the mine cart is empty, it will send it straight. If the mine cart is not empty, it will send it up to the the right there, which will which has a stop block up there, which allows us to uh, inspect what, what was not uh, picked up at the warehouse so that we can uh, modify the warehouse to uh, accommodate that next time we send it through. So here we have a bunch of redstone running around all over the place, because that's all uh, heads up to all those buttons up there. But uh, when that storage minecart comes up this way, the empty one, it deposits into this chest. Um, and then when we hit the button up there to dispense the minecart, it will shoot out here, head up, hit the booster block, and head up toward where we started out at. And that's the obsidian block. It's the, uh, it's the, uh, booster block as well, but what it does is it will actually stop you. So the, the cart will stop there, any cart coming along will start, stop, start right there until redstone is reapplied to it which this button here runs to it, which will launch it back off. So I hope you enjoyed uh, taking a look at the uh, our automated warehouse here on Hillbilly Minecraft server. Uh, hope to see you again soon.